So we ran the wire around their next section of pasture that we'll be roading them into. The next thing that I got to do now is come in with the lawnmower and mow down all of these weeds and things that they did not eat so that it all grows back evenly and hopefully in the long run the grass will grow up faster than the weeds and snuff them out and we will, this will be our way of improving our pasture because okay. as of right now we strategically kept coming in and bursting the dog fennel. As you can see, the dog fennel has not been able to grow back as strong. There are a few little set clumps where there are some bowl holes that we've got to fill in and then pull those out. But we'll see next spring if the dog fennel comes back as strong as it normally does. So we are gonna see if we can lure because the cows got out. Um, we've been having issues with our fence not hitting as strong. Oh, Leon, I see where it's at. Here's the issue, look. Why? I just found the issue. Look at that, that will cause a fence to short out. Look, Leon, there's the issue. Oh. That's the issue right there. It completely came out. So, we're gonna push this, put this back in. We will need to come back in though with a T-post and put, put a T-post there. But we'll have to get one from the house and bring it out here. But Actually, that should... I saw one in the backyard near the mulch pile. Yeah, well that should be hitting pretty hot now because when I just tested it a little bit ago, it was hitting at 2,500 with that. So hopefully, hopefully it's hitting hotter now. In fact, let's test it right now. This has been a real hassle because Big Mac, one of our two steers, had figured out that the fence was not hitting as hot as we would have liked it to, and so he would literally just slip right under it. And so he was the first problem. For a while there, all the other cows were fine, but then Axel, our bull, started figuring it out and getting out from time to time. The fence is on, right, buddy? Okay. All right, show me. Hold on, hold on, look, 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 look. hold on, hold on, you don't wanna bend this. I'll just stick this in the ground. This is the grounding. And then press it. All right. All right, now let's see. Where is it hitting? All right, hold on one second. Let's see. Here, hold this for a second. Hmm. Still, what the heck? I don't, I don't understand why this is not... I, it might be, it might just be our energizer. Our energizer might not be, I mean, it's, it's an old energizer. It's not, it's just not hitting as strong. This is really frustrating. Because our energizer, the energizer, we have a Parmac and it's supposed to energize up to 25 miles. And now mind you, we got it used. So like I said, I think that it might just be that it's old, but I really did not want to have to buy a new energizer, so. I guess we're gonna have to buy an energizer. Darn. So that energizer, I mean, it works perfectly for the poultry net, so we'll keep it for the poultry net, and then we'll just have to get a brand new one for the uh, cows and horses, the, the electric fence. And that's just gonna be what we have to do. Which just sucks, because that's not what I wanted to do, but we can't have them getting out if we're gonna be doing the rotational grazing. They're getting out. I keep catching Big Mac in my orchard, and thankfully he's not, he's only terrorized one tree. He ate up some, one of the banana trees, he ate up some of those leaves, so maybe he just needed some potassium. But um, he wasn't really disturbing the others, so I mean as long as he's not disturbing my trees, I, it's not like a huge issue for him to be out. He's one cow, he's not going to do a whole lot, but it kind of defeats the purpose of rotational grazing in keeping livestock off of the grass so that it can the parasites can go through their life cycle and die off before we put them before the, we put the livestock back on the pasture. Oh, Leon, look! 
Oh, and I just found another issue. Here we go. Look, I just figured out where it's rounding out. We got a fence down and I didn't even realize it. I can see it over there. See, cleaning up all these issues and it's still hitting. It's still hitting at about a thousand. I don't know if this just happened or this has been like this the entirety of the time that we've been here. So hopefully, Leon, I need you to go turn the fence off so I can fix this section, okay? I see a down fence. Yep, that's completely down. You know what? This might have been where they broke out. They might have just walked right through this because it wasn't hitting hot. And Abby, she is notorious for throwing her weight around because she knows she's big. She probably just pushed right through it. And that was what happened. Yep, see? Well, that is supposed to be up in the air. Yep, here it is. Just broke right through. Well, thankfully, Luke did not catch on. He, all the horses are still in here. Did you turn the fence off? Um, that's okay, I'll just disconnect this section so I can fix it. frustrations that we're dealing with is a stupid fence energizer. Oh, so energizer. Penny, are you hungry? You see, you see, you re see, I'm ready for my food. You ready for your food, old girl? I'm ready for your food. So, while Penny and Hannah are eating, we're going to try and see if we can lure the cow into the new pasture with alfalfa. Where's the scoop? I'm squishing. And we'll kind of toss it in the grass for them to munch on. Alright, come on Leon. Alright, back at the camper where the Energizer is located at. It's a little tangy. That's okay. I'm gonna test this. Alright, you gotta shade it. Let's see where it's hitting at. Still not hitting it to 2,500. It was a hit hitting at 2,500. Why is it all of a sudden not hitting at 2,500 now? What is going on? Where is it grounding? It's hitting at 1,000. That's it was hitting stronger. Why is it now all of a sudden hitting weaker? What? Why don't we um, go to close closest place? No, because this th this matters. This is where it matters, Leon. It's not going to be. Darn it being evenly distributed throughout the entire fence, which you want, but it's hitting so low. I don't know where it's grounding out. It's set up with the plastic insulators. There shouldn't be any places that it's touching the metal or hitting the ground. It should be good. I don't understand why it's not hitting it so strong, because when I first initially changed it out, it was hitting at 2,500 when there was still rope in here. That doesn't make any sense because the the wire is going to hit hotter. It's going to conduct better. It doesn't make any sense. So, you know, even this is good right here. Let's see if we can uh, encourage them to come. Okay, so that worked for all of three. <laughs> Brutus was the only one who behaved and originally stayed in the fence, but we got Annabelle, Chloe, and Big Mac back in. That leaves Axel, who I don't know where he's at. He might be back by the pond. I'll leave him out. And then Abby and Lexi are the only ones that help in all. They're having a moment over here. Oh, never mind. And Abby's ruining it. <laughs> Lexi was licking her forehead and Abby was acting all sweet to her, and then all of a sudden she tried to headbutt her and shove her out of the way. So, sweet moment was very short. God, it is so hot. I am so ready for winter. It's like 85, 86, 87 degrees out right now, and the humidity is so high. But one thankful thing is that we had a lot of rain last night, so the pastures are very happy right now. What are you guys doing over here? Hi, 
Maxie. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweet baby. We've been working with her a lot for Leon's 4-H. Oh. Or just let me scratch your chin. Can I scratch your chin? There you go. Let me scratch your chin. See? There you go. Yes, there you go. See? I get the good chin scratches. Yes, my baby. Hi. She's doing really good with her training, her halter training. We're waiting to see if she has any nubs. It's been, she's, I think she's five months old right now. So I don't know if she's gonna be, I'm hoping she's pulled. I'm hoping she's pulled, that would be amazing. Are you gonna be my problem child today? Did you just not wanna go in? I know, it's hot, but there's shade in there for you. I have shade trees in there. And you guys can stand in the shade when you're not grazing. Can you please go in? I'd appreciate it. Lexi, can you tell her she needs to go in? You need to go in. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Poor girl. I know, it's hot. I know, it's hot. See, but it's so hot, mama. It's so hot. I guess this is where your horns were. Is it so hot? Poor baby girl. Is it so hot? I'll give you scratches. I'll make it better. My sweetheart. You are such a pretty girl. When are you gonna be bred? I gotta send off. Actually, I don't know if it's been 28 days since you were last in heat. We're, we're waiting until I think November is when we're waiting to draw blood on all of them and send off blood samples to see if any of them got bred by Axel. So hopefully. Shh. All right, come on. You gotta get out. You gotta get out of here. Let me get. Dog fell. Also useful as a switch. Come on. Go on. No, you're going the wrong way. There you go. I know, you don't know what I want you to do. You gotta pull it, come on. Hurry, she's coming your way. You gotta push it forward. There you go. All right, now if we can just get her to walk over the fence. Come on. There we go. We got them all in. We're good though. Okay, high five. So all that's left is just Axel and Lexi, but Lexi can easily slip under these fences, which is fine, because she comes and goes. That's just what calves do. So, all right, awesome. I don't know why, I guess we're just gonna have to bite the bullet and get an energizer. And hopefully, because they've got good grass now, they'll stay put until we can do that. Hopefully Big Mac will be less likely to try and go through the fence to get grass. 